This video podcast is brought to you by McCarter Online. Well, I'm Cynthia Tum, and I am the costume shop manager here at the McCarter Theater. Uh, this is my second season here at the McCarter, and I've been doing costume shop managing and costume designing for about 20 years now. So, to start at the beginning, what our role is, is to take whatever the designer gives us and make that appear on stage. Um, what the designer gives us is the sketch, and um, also sometimes she gets, she gives us the research. I, in this particular production, we have the pictures from the original production um, that was done on Broadway. My role in that is to get facilitate the communication between the designer and the staff and the actors who also have their input. Um, we need to choose from the very beginning when we need get the sketch, we need to choose the fabric and in this particular case um, Choosing the fabric for this dress was not as easy as one might imagine. Um, these are just some of the fabric samples that we looked at, the various different swatches and colors and um, things that we looked at in terms of trying to choose the fabrics. We actually took some swatches and dyed them to um, look at different options in terms of is this the fabric that we want to use, it, what does it look like and what, what can we get it to dye. Um, and I think you'll, you've seen the china silk that we actually ended up choosing. But this is just an example of how we end up choosing just one fabric. And we go through this process for every fabric in the show. During the rehearsal process, the stage manager will communicate with the actors and they will decide that they need to have the pocket in the pants be eight and a half inches deep so they can put the, a big glove in it, for instance. Or they need a pocket on the inside of the jacket for a pair of glasses. Or um, Sally needs to have heels and her heels need to be a certain um, dimension in circumference so that she doesn't go through the holes in the boards and the deck. And those decisions and those, like the pocket watch, will be discussed during the rehearsal process and it's my job to communicate that information to the drapers and also to the designers. So in choosing the pocket watch and choosing the shoes, we can take all of those things into consideration. So in a lot of these details, the audience never really can see, but it it does make difference in terms of how a garment hangs on the body. And um, those are the subtleties that m make the difference between really good design and really great design. When you know a designer understands what the lighting is going to be, particularly in this case, and Jennifer remembers the lighting design from the previous production and how that particular color fabric looked in the moonlight and how it glowed and that's what we're trying to recreate that look so it's very important what color the fabric is and what might seem to be incremental differences um, to some people it really makes a huge difference when it finally gets on stage and it's paying attention to those kind of details is what my job is and making sure that everybody understands that those details are in fact important Fashion design is very much less about people and very much more about clothes. And this is really more about the people. And um, that's what I find the most exciting about it. Working with very interesting people from the designers and directors to actors and, and the people here at the McCarter. It's, yes, it's a lot about problem, problem solving. It's a lot about working with each other and working on it as a team in a collaborative way to produce the excellence we serve.